Yeah. Hey guys. Um, I made a promise to a company to uh, review their product on my channel and um, I, I severely underestimated the amount of rain in Illinois and unfortunately now here on Easter Sunday I flat out ran out of time and uh, I have come to the realization that we're not going to get a sunny day so setting up solar stuff and power stations outside um, I do apologize to the company I've been incredibly patient but um, we're in Illinois and I don't know if you've noticed on my channel it rains more than anywhere on this globe in, in Illinois and uh, <laughs> live we had Easter Sunday today and so Sean and Jill and Chris and their families joined us at a Julia's banquet once again where I usually do my Thanksgivings it was awesome food chicken mashed potatoes uh, hot apple cobbler and uh, I didn't have to cook uh, nobody had to wash any dishes in our group we just got to enjoy the company of others and then skedaddle and do our own thing and my thing was my last chance to film this video outside and instead I can't. <laughs> you want me to tell you about the rain? You want me to tell you? I better not. So instead, here we are inside in the dry Climate controlled, comfortable shop here in East Alton, Illinois. I got the RV in the room next door, the outer shop there. Actually, stick around till the end of the video because I have some other things I want to talk about as far as what other projects are to come and what the schedule looks like moving forward so I can get out and go on an epic, awesome summer adventure. Very excited about that, but thank you for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. You'll find a link below in the video description if you are still looking for an internet solution. However, one of the last things that my RV doesn't have is solar, and this today could possibly be an epic solution for solar. Guys, I present to you the brand new, never released, except I think Dave's RV life probably beat me to the punch yesterday. Okay, the second person to review the brand new Big Blue Cell Power 2500. Yeah, guys, this is a 2500 watt power station with six outlets on the side right there. It's also got the charging port right there. It's got two fans that are going to push out the air on the other side. Two fans are taking in the air. There is a lot of airflow going through this monster beast. It is rated for 1800 watt hours of lithium storage in there. And like I said, up to 2500 watts of running power, which will run every arcade in this room in case the power goes out. On the other side right here, we've got the solar input, the DC input. If I take a step back, See what those guys are right there? 1,200 watts of folding solar panels. 1,200 watts. Each one of these folding solar panels is 200 watts of solar. <laughs> 1,200 watts. That is the equivalent to all of the solar that is currently on Miranda right now. That is a lot of solar. We're gonna talk more about the panels here in just a minute. The main focus here is the Big Blue Cell Power 2500, okay? All right, so getting her started up, you can see we've got this nice color screen right here in the top left corner. You can see it says CO2 saved. That's uh, since I turned it on just now. So zero grams of CO2 saved. That number will continue to climb the more you use it. There is an AC button to turn that on. There's a DC button to turn that on. A little green icon down here will take you into the settings page where you can make some other adjustments, turn on the GPS function, uh, change how much input's coming into the unit, everything like that. Of course, your big color screen here, giving you the percentage of battery life currently available. Uh, as I said previously, this guy is brand new, so fresh that, oh, it hasn't been released yet. However, there are some links in the video description where you'll find a link to the Kickstarter page. That's right. So the first 250 people that sign up for Kickstarter will get this bad boy for, I think, 999 bucks, which is a smoking hot deal considering what this does and what this could potentially replace 
as far as a twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollar solar system that you might be considering putting on your RV. Maybe this works better. So yeah, one more look at this side of the import. There are quick charging ports for your laptop or your cell phone over here, the USB ports. It's also got DC input for charging. Okay, so there's three ways to charge it, right? Three ways to charge it. The first, most easiest way, just your standard plug-in, just like you would have in a computer monitor or something. Plug this into the wall, plug this into the unit. It, it charges super fast. Also comes with your DC looking plug so that while you're driving down the road, you can plug this into your cigarette lighter. And then this little yellow tip probably looks familiar. A lot of these units have those sticks right into one of the imports right there charge it while you're driving and lastly i'm getting ready to unfold one of these solar panels for you but you can charge this with the 1200 watts of folding solar panel you can put them anywhere you want you can put them on the ground uh, if you're going to be there a while you can deploy them on the roof of your rv or something you can move them towards the sun so that your rv's in the shade that that sort of thing i want to show you at least one of these opened up you can see how flat they are and light they are also. You'll notice on the back, very familiar style plugs. I believe you call these M4 connectors. They are the industry standard as far as solar panels are concerned. And as you can see, the company, Big Blue, they're not having some weird proprietary plug. You can plug this into any system you want or any charge controller you want once you have these panels. They're not only being used uh, for this unit. So let me angle the camera down just a little bit like this. I'm gonna set this one up uh, behind the unit. So you open it once and then you open it twice. And on the back of these two are Velcro feet. See that? Velcro feet. Actually, all four sides have the Velcro feet. And they are adjustable depending on where you are in relation to the sun, what season it is, what the solar angle is that you need. <laughs> did, I, did I say there are six of these in this package? Yeah. I really wanted to set these up outside and, you know, get solar, but we're in Illinois. And let me think, what else am I missing? Oh, it has UPS function. So it is literally a safe backup system. If you are running some delicate computer software or your video games, like if you know there's a thunderstorm going and I want to reroute the power surge extension cord into this guy during the storm, you can have this plugged in and it is literally a pass through, which means you don't even have to turn the AC on on this unit when you're using it. Say I'm plugged into AC power, it's plugged into the wall, there's a bad storm here. I've got all my arcade games running through this unit right now, but if there's a power outage or a power surge or an electrical surge or something like that, these games are being powered by this through pass-through, which means the cord that's plugged into the wall is gonna send some power to this, but it's also gonna go through this safe system and control all of my delicate electronics. I don't know how delicate they are. They're antiques, most of them, but so pass through charging and pass through use as well as the UPS function. How heavy is this guy? I don't have the specs, but somewhere on the screen, I will magically tell you exactly how much this portable unit weighs. Two hands on it. Uh, I'm gonna guess this sucker probably weighs 60, 55, 60 pounds. It's still pretty heavy, but it has two really comfortable handles. Let's see, one handed. It's a lot of weight to pack around, but it is portable, okay? Well, more portable than some of those generators, right? Hang tight real quick. I wanna deploy all six of the panels and show you what those might look like at your campground. Oh, but before we do that, the kit also comes with all of the MC4 wiring that you would need in order to hook up all these panels to the Big Blue. It has all of their, their plugs on the end, but remember what I said last time? These plugs are very generic and kind of the industry standard. You could use them on other systems. Yeah, guys. So I wanted you to get a chance to see what 1,200 watts of solar panels deployed might look like. If we go on this side, you can also see that all the feet, they are adjustable, okay? 
I just got them all kind of set to the same so you can get an idea for what they look like. These uh, solar, solar Power 200s are also brand new, just released uh, with this actual Big Blue 2500. So before, I think they had a 100. These are the 200 waters a piece. And <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous, right? Pretty cool. One of the other features I really like about it is that all four corners of these have hard grommets, okay? So if you wanted to secure them overnight, you could run your cable through all the corners and then it could be locked up at the end, right? Or if you, this is something I'm considering doing, uh, hanging these from the sides of the RV in the wintertime so that they are directly horizontal to the sun, you could use twine or bungees and hang these from the side of your RV. And again, this amount of solar, this portable solar that you're looking at is equivalent to the massive amount of solar that I currently have on the roof of my Class A RV. But that's not the focus of this video. The focus of this video is really the Big Blue Cell Power 2500. So because I've gotten this question before in uh, similar style videos, I I've noticed that a lot of people want to know what will it run and how long will it run it? Well, I'm not one of those channels. I'm not gonna go grab every single appliance I have and plug it in and then show you that, look, it operates a coffee maker. Look, it operates a hair dryer. Look, obviously, it's going to operate those things. It, it's up to 2,500 watts. Um, I can't think of anything in my entire RV that it won't run. Y yes, it, it, will, it will literally run an air conditioner, especially with a soft start air conditioner like Miranda. It's only gonna pull 1300 watts. It's not gonna surge because of the, of the soft start. So it's going to really only pull less than half of the capacity of this. You could run two air conditioners. So yeah, it will run a lot of stuff and then you will eventually need to recharge it. Or like I said, you can be charging it while you're also using it. Here's what I'm gonna do, watch. For this demonstration, I'm gonna set the big blue right here on the sink, okay? I don't think this unit is waterproof, so that's why I'm not gonna be doing this outside, but also I just don't wanna be outside in the rain anyway. So let's pretend like we're gone from Illinois. We're, we're anywhere but Illinois right now, and there's beautiful sunshine, and <laughs> okay, the big blue unit is outside in the sun, just enjoying the sunshine and fresh air, right? Maybe you've got some solar panels deployed, so you're also giving it some power input. This is the plug for my RV. It is a 30 amp plug for my RV. I'm gonna use this little adapter. I'm gonna plug my RV into the adapter, which gives me a normal 120 volt looking plug. And then I'm gonna turn the unit off first. I'm gonna plug my RV into the big blue and then turn it back on. All right, RV's plugged in. I'm going to turn on the AC power here. And in just a moment, my RV is gonna ask for some power. There it goes. It just clicked on. There's some information here in this corner. Let me get you a little closer. Right there. So it's telling us that we are asking for 75 watts. That's it right now because the RV is fully charged right now. It's just running the converter right now. So 65 watts. It also up here, it says 17.2 hours. That H is hours until empty. So if we continue using the same amount of power with my RV, we, it will last 19, now it says 20 hours. It keeps going up a little bit because we're asking for less. So it's kind of cool if this were being plugged in or if the unit were being charged with solar, this might say infinity, right? If you're only asking for, let's say 600 watts in the RV, but you're bringing in 900 in solar, you have infinite amount. Right now I'm not charging the unit, so we only have 21 and a half hours remaining. Let me go turn on the air conditioner in Frida and we'll see what changes. All right, I heard the fans kick on. What's going on? 1600, let me zoom in. All right, yeah, I can hear those fans going. 1640 watts. It also says we only have less than an hour to go, but this will change if you had solar or input going on right now. It will run a rooftop air conditioner. All right, I'm terrible at math. Uh, let me think about this. So. If you are plugged into AC power or charging off of solar, the most you would get is 1200 watts of input. We're asking 1600, which means that will not run my air conditioner forever. There's no way it's not possible. 
But these units aren't really meant to do that. They're not meant to have huge, massive surges for long periods of time. It's meant to get you by for camping. It's meant to trickle charge. Bottom line, I think it's a cool unit. I, I understand why it has to be so heavy, but if you look at comparable models that have 1800 watt hours or 2500 watts of power total, this unit is actually nowhere near as big as those. I mean, I, I hate to say a company right now, but there are some other companies that weigh a lot more for that size in comparison. And Big Blue Cell Power 2500 is one of the lighter ones in its class. It's true. So in the meantime, I, I guess we can go camping. Well, not camping, we can go boondocking with this system. We could bring the solar panels if there were just gonna be a break in the rain this week. Anyway, I wanna thank Big Blue for sending that out to me. Remember, there is a link in the video description where you can get the 2500 cell power for $999 if you join them on Kickstarter. And uh, anyway, I just wanna thank the company for sending that out to me. It's gonna go to great use here on the channel. So Frida leaves the shop tomorrow. Let me show you one thing. One little teaser so you'll stick around and watch my next video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, running water. Miranda, I'm sorry, we're gonna get you fixed soon, one day. Are the kitties up there? Hey, where's the kitties? I think they're going on strike, they're mad at me. <laughs> what? Is that what you say, Opie? Oh my, does that mean you're hungry? Am I stressing you out, moving you from RV to RV? Tara, is this stressful? I'm sorry. Will it be less stressful if dad just gets the food and shuts up? Yeah, will that be better? I, I, I should do that then? Opie, should I do that? Opie's like, well, my sister climbed up like this, so I'm going to do it too. Okay, guys. Yeah, I need to give Miranda some love. It's just, it's really strange because it's like having three homes right now. Like literally going from Miranda, mostly. You got the other RV that I'm loading up and working on, and then you got the shop. And so if I'm like looking for one set of keys for the motorcycle, <laughs> I literally don't even know where it's at. And uh, it's, it's not pleasant inside Miranda right now with all the projects going on. I need, to, I need to simplify things. So I promise you, I already have half a video made of more updates on Frida. So my next video will not be a product review. It will be literally tearing into Frida and making her work for the road, okay? So thanks again, Big Blue, for sending me the product. It's gonna be really helpful on the road. Again, link in the video description. I did forget one thing. The unit has an app available. I'm just not an, an app guy when it comes to that. It is available. If that's something that interests you for the product, just wanted to mention that because it was in my email. Uh, it is currently does, does not work for Apple devices though, so I could not show you that. They are expected to add iOS capabilities in the app soon, like within this month. But anyway, if you want to be, and the other thing was, it's the first 300 people. First 300 people that join them on Kickstarter will get the unit for $999. I do not know the actual retail price after that campaign, however. But anyway, yeah. So, see you Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, guys? Bye-bye.